Conversations with irregular verbs. Today I will share example sentences for irregular verbs. Let's begin another happy little grammar lesson. Hi. Hello. Hey. Good morning. Good evening. All the previous phrases are great for beginning a conversation. We do not start a conversation with good night since it usually means goodbye. How are you? How are you today? How are you doing? How are you this fine evening? How are you this beautiful morning? I am fine, fabulous, incredible. I couldn't be better. If I were any better, I would be twins. No, how you doing? Sorry, I can't talk now. I need to get something to eat. I haven't eaten yet. Let's get something to eat together. I heard that O Tacos restaurant has a great has great lunch specials, but I put their directions in my other pants and don't know the way. I see. I saw their sign a few blocks back. If we stick together, we will find it in no time. Let's run before we get wet. It looks like the storm clouds have set in. Let's speak with the waiter about getting a better table. I'm glad we ran into each other since we haven't spoken in ages. I haven't eaten here before. Everything looks and smells good. What have you been doing since we last spoke? I teach English now, and you? I taught kids how to swim until I tore a muscle. It looks swollen, so I went to the hospital. I underwent surgery to reattach my muscles. I sought a less physical job after my surgery. I understand that must have been difficult for you. I will spread the word if you are still looking for a job. It took me a while to find this job. I told everyone to let me know if they heard about any job openings. I will pay the bill. You paid last time. I have to take off. I have to go before it gets dark. Sorry we never kept in touch. Let's keep in touch this time. I don't know your number. If I had known your number, I would have kept in touch. Thank you for visiting. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Feel free to ask any questions or suggest future topics in the comments. If you like Christian poetry, check out my other channel, Narrowgate vs. Scandalgate, on YouTube and many other streaming platforms. You can find my Christian poetry at Amazon.com under First Fruits by LDDJ. My website is otakosforotakus.com. Have an incredible day. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God.